Hello, today I'm going to be showing you how I made my Saber Altar Sword live on Twitch.tv. Links are in the description. I started out with my pattern I made on the PC and traced the blade part twice on EVA foam. I pinned the pattern to the foam before tracing it. With a sharp X-Acto blade, I carefully cut the pieces out at a 90 degree angle. Then I removed the blade edge from the pattern. I applied contact adhesive to each half, weighted, and then carefully put them together. To avoid some areas from sticking, I used a piece of newsprint as a barrier. I traced the edgeless pattern onto the main body of the blade. This will mark where to make the edge sharp. Using a straight edge, I added an extra border for where the overlay piece will sit. Next, I cut the handle of the hilt off of the pattern. I traced the guard on some craft foam and cut it out. Then I patterned the rest of the guard by measuring the height I wanted and wrote down all the measurements. I cut out the hollow details on the guard pattern and traced them onto the craft foam piece. Then I cut them out. Using my measurements, I cut out the pieces nearest the blade and nearest the handle. Then I measured the blade and drew on where it would pass through. Since I plan to put LEDs in this sword, I trace my blade onto some carpeting foam multiple times as a light diffuser. Then I cut them out. Using an old strip of LEDs, I tested how many layers I would need. Once I had enough layers, I used some ink to color the carpet foam red. This way, when my LEDs are off, these areas will still show through the proper color. I heat up some warbler and covered the hilt pieces. I really like to make sure there won't be any air bubbles by pressing it all down. I used a clay tool to push the details in, followed by the edges. Then I cut it out using an X-Acto and some scissors. By applying more heat, I used the clay tool to smooth the shapes out. Then I went back to the hilt. I began to connect everything together to make a hollow box. Using a piece of foam, I made sure the box kept a 90 degree angle. Once connected, there's still missing a face. I traced the box on a sheet of newsprint and then traced an inner line to take into account the thickness of the warbler. I cut it out and used a pattern to trace the hollow details. The piece I'm making has to sit flush as a cover for the box. I'm cutting some foam as a border for the inside. Then using hot glue, I glue the foam inside. I traced the lid pattern onto some craft foam and tested the size. I went back to the blade and used a rotary tool with a stone bit to round the edges of the 4mm foam. I used a sanding drum on the edges of the box to clean it up. I pinned the overlay to the blade and used my heat gun to make sure it kept the right shape. I also used black paint marker to dye the insides of the overlay since it would be hard to paint them once the windows connected. Now it was time to shape the blade edge. I started by making the two halves flush. Using a belt sander, I carefully sanded down the edges and flowed with the belt and the blade evenly. Once the blade was sanded, I cut the center out of it to make it hollow. I left the end on as a support. Before continuing with the build, I trace the blade on some newsprint so I can make sure it sits the same as before, once covered in warbler. Then I slowly, carefully covered it with warbler, one section at a time. Again one section at a time, I cut the excess off. The cover of the box is also covered in warbler. I cut holes for magnets and glued them into the foam parts. The cover has flat thumbtacks as the other half for the magnets. To prevent the magnet from coming out, I also glued a piece of thin fabric over it. I cut some detail strips three thicknesses of warbler high, heat up the surface, place the cover on, and carefully stuck the detail on, avoiding the edge. Once all the detail was placed, I used my sanding drum with my Dremel again to clean up the blade. Now I can remove the support. I also tested to make sure everything would fit properly. 
Using some Warbler scraps, I heat them up and use them to hold the blade in place on the inside of the guard box. The window and the carpet foam was glued to the correct parts and I used contact adhesive to glue the overlays on. Now the blade is put together and hollow for LEDs. The handle is actually a stairs railing pole and is connected in the same way as the blade. A few extra detail strips were placed at the base of the blade and the handle. Now on to priming. I coated all of the warbler parts in spackle. The window spots are covered up using the same pieces cut out of the foam to protect. Once dry, I sanded it all down very carefully. I brush away the dust to make sure cracks aren't being hidden. The next step takes place outside. I spray about four layers, for black warbler, of automotive primer onto the whole blade. Then I sand it smooth again. Then back outside, I base coated the blade in black acrylic enamel. Time to add LEDs. I made my circuit with red LED strips and wrapped them around a clothes hanger, but you can use anything that works for you. Then I slid the lights carefully through the blade. Now I carefully glued the rest of the LEDs inside the guard and placed the battery holder and switch at an accessible area. I touched up any areas lacking paint and then tested the lights. Then I was able to varnish my sword with acrylic lacquer until it was as glossy as I wanted it. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time.